Welcome back, Liberator Nation. It's your boy Swab here, back with another one. And as you can tell with what I'm wearing today, this will be another Demon Slayer centric video. So for you, for those of you who don't know, Demon Slayer Muzan Train, because I've, I've realized with the last one I was saying Muzan Train, but it was wrong. It's Muzan Train. It already came out in Funimation, so if you guys haven't seen it yet, this one's going to kind of be a spoiler video. We're finally going to talk about some spoilers in the Mugen Train. And then we're going to continue on to Demon Slayer Season 2. Because that's supposed to be coming out in, I believe, this maybe in the summer? Or, no, 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 I'm sorry. I think it's a winter anime, but it's supposed to be, I know it's coming out in 2021. So I, I think it could be the summer or the winter. But, anyway. Uh, season 2 is supposed to be the Red Light District. So where they left off in Muzan Train. Again, guys, this will be spoilers. So I'm going right for it. In 3, 2, 1. So you know if you watch Muzan Train, at the end of the movie when Goku dies, he's fighting one of the top demons of Muzan's army, and it's a real epic and sick fight scene. It's almost like you don't want it to end because you don't want Rengoku to pass away. And I went into Muzan Train knowing that Rengoku will die. It's like I told you guys before, I'm aware of some of the major deaths that happen in Demon Slayer, I'm just not sure when or where they die but I am aware of like who dies so I kind of expected Rengoku to basically pass away in this movie within that short amount of time we actually got Rengoku I wasn't expecting me to get that close or for me to actually like that character as much as I do so my kind of theory and this is like I said I haven't really finished the uh, mangas or caught up enough like I only read it up to Muzen Train because I, I really wanted to know what happened in that arc before I watched the movie so I haven't read what would be season 3, which they're labeling season 2, the Red Light District, I haven't read it. And I know Tenjin, who's a Hachira, uh, we're going to put his picture up on this side of me. I know he's a sound Hachira, and I know he's going to be the spotlight Hachira of the season. So what I'm assuming, if you follow the Mujin train arc and how they, their beats and how they're going, I think all the Hachira will die in front of Tanjiro, Zenetsu, and Inosuke. And I feel like each one of them will have that Rengoku moment where they each tell Tanjiro that they believe in him and his sisters and that he has their support. I don't know, I could be wrong, but the way they did that scene with Rengoku where he tells Tanjiro, pick your head up, you won, you got my acceptance, you know, I accept you and your sister as part of the demon core and you know what when he said that it just kind of reminded me of season one where the main Hachira died the guy was blind I'm gonna have a picture of him right here as well when he told Tanjiro like it's your job to win over these peoples and change their opinion like you know you got to win over their heart and change over their opinion and to see him do that with Rengoku to me that speaks in the future season three and four we're going to see these Hachira and I believe it and most of them will be near death experiences we will see them going to their breaking point but I think each one of them will accept Nezuko and where the things are going with there so in terms of like the villains and stuff I haven't really jumped into the, the next arc so I don't know too much but I would assume that it would be one of those top tier demons to fight Tenjin. Tenjin is very flamboyant. He's supposed to be, which I said this earlier, he's a sound Hachira. I actually looked that up to find out which what abilities he has. Because I feel like the more we get into the Hachira, the more cooler and doper these guys are actually going to be. In terms of what, you know, what we might see. I think we might get a little bit into Inosuke a little bit more. I just feel like there's probably a little bit more to that character that we haven't really seen and we're probably going to see that in the next arc and then as well i feel like zunetsu arc is coming up in demon slayer where he'll be the focal point of a story i'm not too sure if that's this season or next season but i, I have been told that there is a, a zunetsu arc coming so that will be interesting but like i said with the red light district it looks like it's going to be tenjin i don't know if it's the same one that killed rengoku but i think one of those top tier demons will pop up in this season and I think we will see a battle between Tenjin. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say we're going to see an epic fight between the guy that killed Rengoku and Tenjin. I just feel like that makes sense. And I think Tenjin will die in this arc. I think so as well. And if he doesn't die, I think he steps away from being a Hachiro or something. Like I said, all the Hachiro are either going to die or I just believe they're going to get killed off. It just it just makes sense why they're going on. So if, so if Tenjin doesn't die, maybe he just puts down the mantle or maybe he just 
goes away, you know, we, we don't really know. I know they said he's uh, supposed to have like three wives and he's supposed to be the most, I think he's the oldest one out of them, the Demon Slayer, or the second oldest one. But uh, it's, it's, it's pretty interesting where they're going with it. So I'm just going to leave that there. We'll get into it with the next one. In terms of spoilers and things like that, I just didn't, the only spoiler I was going to say was Rengoku's death. And that's where uh, season two is going to pick up after Rengoku's death and what happens there on out. So again guys, that will be all for this video. I'm going to try to get a couple more content videos coming out. As you guys can tell, we don't really have anything new for the shelf yet. It's just because, of, you know, we're waiting on Funko. I have a bunch of ideas for future videos where I would like to display and open up the Funko Pops with you guys live, like do unboxing with you guys on camera and things like that. But, uh, you know, we're just waiting for those pops to come in. I would like to say that I did get some new minis. So when they come in, I'll, sh I'll show you those. You know, we just got a couple of things that are once it ships out and once it comes in, we can be able to do some more videos on it. I know I've been doing a few different Demon Slayer videos and I have some more of my Hero Academia content on his way. Me and Effa are still working hand in hand on getting a lot of it out. So you guys just keep watching the page, keep looking for it. We're going to have some more content coming at you guys very soon. Again, just be on the lookout for the next My Hero video. Keep on the lookout for my My Hero Storytime videos. We're still working on those. But I promise you guys, once I have this set up. So as of right now, I have about, I'm going to say about 20% of the story already mapped out. I'm right now building a display. So when I start filming, we're going to have something to be in the background. So that's what we're building out now. Once that's done and I have all the art pieces that I need for story time, then we'll move forward with it. But I'm just constantly telling you guys because I want you guys to be aware. So when it finally drops, we all come together. Because in this channel, you know, believe it or not, it's only been small. We only have like 30 something followers. But we're like a small little community here. You guys constantly message me in my DMs. We just have a great discussions on my My Hero videos or on my Demon Slayer videos. And I really do like the little community that we're starting to build here on this channel. I'm excited to give my community this My Hero Academia story time and hear their feedback and what they like back with it. Again, we're going to start off with My Hero Academia story time. But we'll get there by the end of the summer. Stay tuned, guys. It's your boy Suave here. This is the end of this one. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you guys. Be safe. Peace out.